This documentary is on Osama bin Laden, the man behind the September 11th attacks. If you have a suggestion on a documentary you would like me to write, please let me know in the comments section. I'll do my best to get the documentary to you on my channel. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Osama bin Laden is a name that is synonymous with terrorism, violence, and extremism. He is the founder of the terrorist organization Al-Qaeda and was responsible for the September 11th attacks on the United States. Bin Laden's life and actions have had a significant impact on the world, and his death in 2011 marked the end of an era in the global fight against terrorism. This video will explore the life, beliefs, and actions of Osama bin Laden and analyze his impact on global politics and international security. Osama bin Laden was born in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, in 1957, the 17th son of Mohammed bin Awad bin Laden, a billionaire construction magnate. Osama's mother, Hamida al Adas, was Mohammed's fourth wife. Osama had 52 siblings from his father's multiple marriages. His family was one of the wealthiest in Saudi Arabia, and Osama grew up in a privileged environment. Osama received his early education in Saudi Arabia, and he later attended college in Jeddah. He studied management and economics and graduated with a degree in 1979. After graduation, he worked for his father's company, the Bin Laden Group, as a construction engineer. Osama Bin Laden's radicalization began in the late 1970s when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. Bin Laden was deeply affected by the invasion and saw it as an opportunity to fight against the Soviets and defend Islam. He traveled to Afghanistan in 1980 to join the Mujahideen, a group of Islamist fighters who were resisting the Soviet occupation. Bin Laden's experiences in Afghanistan radicalized him further, and he became a devout Salafi Muslim. Salafism is a fundamentalist Sunni movement that seeks to purify Islam of what it sees as corrupt and un-Islamic practices. Salafists believe in a strict interpretation of the Quran and the Hadith and reject any innovations or changes to Islamic practice. Bin Laden also became politically radicalized during his time in Afghanistan. He saw the conflict in Afghanistan as a struggle between the Islamic world and the West, and he became convinced that the United States and its allies were the enemies of Islam. He believed that the United States was a corrupt and godless society that was waging war against Muslims around the world. After the Soviet Union withdrew from Afghanistan in 1989, Osama bin Laden returned to Saudi Arabia, where he became increasingly critical of the ruling Saudi monarchy. He saw the Saudi monarchy as corrupt and subservient to the West, and he began to agitate for its overthrow. In 1988, bin Laden formed Al-Qaeda, an organization dedicated to the establishment of a global Islamic caliphate. The name Al-Qaeda means the base in Arabic, and the organization was initially created as a database of fighters who had fought in Afghanistan. Bin Laden used Al-Qaeda to recruit and train jihadists from around the world, and he used its network to carry out terrorist attacks against the United States and its allies. Al-Qaeda's terrorist activities included the 1998 bombings of the U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, which killed 224 people, and the 2000 bombing of the USS Cole, which killed 17 American sailors. Al-Qaeda's most notorious attack was the September 11th attacks on the United States, which killed nearly 3,000 people. Osama bin Laden's actions had a significant impact on global politics and international security. The September 11th attacks marked a turning point in U.S. foreign policy, leading to the U.S.-led invasion of Afghanistan and the War on Terror. The War on Terror was a global military campaign launched by the United States and its allies to combat terrorism and prevent future attacks. The War on Terror had far-reaching consequences, including increased military spending, the erosion of civil liberties, and the destabilization of regions like the Middle East. 
The U.S. invasion of Afghanistan in 2001 was aimed at dismantling al-Qaeda and removing the Taliban government that had sheltered them. The U.S. and its allies were successful in toppling the Taliban government and disrupting al-Qaeda's operations in Afghanistan. However, al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups have continued to carry out attacks around the world, and the war on terror has been criticized for its high human and financial costs. The hunt for Osama bin Laden began shortly after the September 11, 2001 attacks on the United States, which were orchestrated by al-Qaeda, the terrorist group that bin Laden founded. For over a decade, the U.S. government and its intelligence agencies pursued leads and conducted extensive searches in several countries, including Afghanistan and Pakistan, where bin Laden was believed to be hiding. In 2010, U.S. intelligence officials received a tip that bin Laden may be living in a compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. The compound was located in a residential area, but it was surrounded by high walls and had extensive security measures, including barbed wire and security cameras. U.S. intelligence agencies began monitoring the compound and gathering intelligence on its occupants, including bin Laden. On May 1, 2011, U.S. President Barack Obama ordered a covert operation to take out bin Laden. The operation was conducted by a team of U.S. Navy SEALs, who were flown into Pakistan by helicopter. The SEALs breached the compound walls and engaged in a firefight with the occupants of the compound, including bin Laden and several of his associates. Bin Laden was located on the third floor of the compound and was shot and killed by the SEAL team. The SEALs also killed several other occupants of the compound, including Bin Laden's son and two couriers who were believed to have been assisting him. After the raid, the SEAL team gathered intelligence materials from the compound, including computers, hard drives, and other documents. These materials provided valuable information on al-Qaeda and its operations, including insights into bin Laden's personal life and his involvement in planning terrorist attacks. The killing of Osama bin Laden was a significant moment in the war on terror and a major victory for the U.S. government and its intelligence agencies. It marked the end of a decade-long manhunt for one of the world's most wanted terrorists and dealt a blow to al-Qaeda's leadership and operations. The operation was also a testament to the skill and bravery of the U.S. military and its special operations forces. Osama bin Laden's life and actions have had a profound impact on the world. He founded Al-Qaeda, a terrorist organization responsible for some of the deadliest attacks in modern history. His beliefs in radical Salafi Islam and his political views on the West and its allies drove him to carry out violent acts against innocent people. Bin Laden's actions led to the US-led war on terror, which has had far-reaching consequences for global politics and international security. Bin Laden's death in 2011 marked the end of an era in the fight against terrorism, but it did not put an end to the threat of terrorism. Al-Qaeda and other terrorist organizations continue to pose a significant threat to global security. The legacy of Osama bin Laden is a reminder of the ongoing challenge of combating terrorism and the need for continued vigilance and cooperation among nations to ensure the safety and security of people around the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest videos. Thank you.